Now, let's understand how we can get this table data from the JSON file. So when we connect the MongoDB database, we can easily get the JSON response and display all the data inside this table. So I'm going to create a new folder inside my project. Let me close all these files right from here. And then inside this project, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder database. And inside this database folder, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file data.json. Now this is a mimic of my backend data. Don't worry, in this project, I'm going to connect the MongoDB and get this data from the MongoDB database. Just for now, to mimic a backend server, I'm going to just copy and paste some JSON data inside this data.json file. So I'm going to create here an array of object and inside this object, we have the data of the employee. We have the employee ID, name, avatar, his email, salary, date and status. Don't worry, if you want to get this data, you have to just check in inside the 07 database branch. When you check in inside this branch, you can easily get this data.json file. Now, once you get this data, just back to the table.js. And here, instead of these hard-coded values, I can iterate over this array of object and display all the data. So what I'm going to do is, instead of this table, I'm going to grab this table row and iterate over this array of object. So let me create a new function for that. So we can iterate over this table row. I'm going to create here a function. And I'm not going to export this function. This function is useful only inside this component. So I'm just going to say here function tr means table row. And then here I'm going to say return. Inside this return statement, I'm going to return the table row. So inside my table, right here, when I scroll down, here I have the table row of this table body. I'm going to grab this and paste that inside this tr function. Something like this. And don't forget to print this function right here. Here I'm going to say tr like this. But if you duplicate this statement, you can see you will have multiple records. Now what I want, I want to iterate over this array of object and pass these values to this table. So right here in, inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass all these properties. This one, the ID, name, avatar, and so on. So inside this parenthesis here I'm gonna call an object and then I'm gonna pass here first ID then pass name author email salary date and status I'm gonna have all these properties inside this data dot JSON file just out of that I wanted to pass these values to this hard-coded data so instead of this image right now I can specify here in the curly braces author and if this value is undefined, then I'm going to return hash, means return nothing. Then to this daily tuition here, I'm going to return the name. So in the curly braces, we pass name. And if this value is undefined or null, I'm going to return unknown as a response. Just out of that, I'm going to copy this, do this for this email. So paste this code here. And instead of name, I'm going to specify here email. Do the same for the salary paste this statement and this is for salary this is for date so we pass here date like this and just out of that i'm going to do the same for this status as well so instead of this active i'm going to pass here curly braces and pass status something like this right now when i save the changes i'm going to get error this is because the id is not defined inside this table row so we need to pass values to this data when we call this function so here let me just pass values so as you know inside this data.json i have all the values of these properties so inside this table at the top here i'm going to first say import data from double dot forward slash then specify the database folder and then i'm going to specify this data.json file from this file i'm going to get this data and right down here inside this T body, here I'm going to add curly braces and then I'm going to iterate over this area of object. So we pass here data dot map and using this map, I'm going to iterate over the area of object. So we pass here two parameters. First is object and second is the index of that object. And from this function, I'm going to return the table row function, this one. So here I'm going to pass tr like this i can 
itself close this component something like this and then to this tr we need to pass values so inside this obj inside this object i have all the values of these properties so here i can say curly braces call the spread operator and pass object and make sure you pass the unique key to this parent component so we pass here key is equal to and pass the index value this one so the next years won't return any warning let me save these changes back to the project and you can see you're going to get the data what you want